Winning folks, welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to do a tiny build video. It would be hardly, I guess, one minute or so. So the thing is like, uh, we'll be discussing. We'll not really be building anything or repairing anything. We'll be seeing what you actually have to do when you have already changed the oil. And uh, still, if the uh, you know that sign is of service not reset appears on your uh, KTM Duke 390s meter console. So it applies for I guess 125 too and uh, 200 too. But since it's not there. Uh, in India the 125 version so we won't really be considered much about that but in case if you are having 125 and you are living somewhere else then you can do the same procedure on that too so let's begin I said you better watch what you're doing cuz I ain't gonna stop when I'm moving I'm headed to the top I'm a do it I'm headed to the top I'm a prove it and baby girl I like what you're doing your body's out of sight when you're moving you look just like my type, so let's do it You know I'll treat you right, let me prove it And I could go all night I'm sick of being nothing All right, I'm gonna be something All fight, with every breath, trust me I'ma be the one at the top, you can't touch me I need to find somebody like me Who wants to be something I bleed with every word coming would rather die than be someone who's not there on the what you basically have to do is like uh, you have to press the mode button until you get the odometer reading on your bike and then uh, once that is reached you have to press the set button so that you could uh, see the wrench logo over here and once that appears you have to press the set button for say like uh, 10 to 15 seconds and it will be sorted so be it folks i guess you can see it clearly it's as simple as that. Stay tuned for more such fun uh, do-it-yourself videos. Till the next time, stay tuned, build it, ride it.